hello there in this video we are going to see how to make this fire here look a lot better because at the moment the environment is being lit just by the mission and it doesn't work very well in unreal engine like we can see here in the final result we are going to have something like this all right to begin with we are going to make this look a lot better by simply adding a light to this uh, to this environment here that's going to be combined together with the fire. So basically, we are going to click here and then add lights, point light. And then we are going to get the position of this light to match the position of the fire particle. So for that, I'm going to look here for the fire particle. If I'm not mistaken, it's up here. So clicking on the fire particle right here. Right click on the location and then copy. And then we look again for the light. So the point light here. Right click on the location and paste. Okay, but now we don't have the color that we would like to see because this is white. And so let's make it look a little bit more like the fire that we have. Then let's change the color from here to something like that. That should do it. Okay, now another thing that we need to do is if you take a look at this scene we don't see any f any flickering of the light which doesn't make it very realistic so now we are going to create this flickering effect and by doing that we are going to see that this is going to be a lot better well for that we are going to press here control space so we open up the dash here um in this material folder i'm going to create a new material so i'm going to right click here and then search for material right here and then we're going to call this one fire lf for light function because basically what we are going to do is a light function material so we can drive the light intensity over time nice so i'm going to open this guy and then we are going to change this from surface to light function right here and then we are going to see that the material output is going to give us only the emissive color and that's exactly what we want now since we want it to be um changing over time then we are going to need a time node this is going to be the first thing that we are going to use. And since we want it to be kind of random, we also need something that's going to represent this randomness. And for that, we are going to use a texture. So I'm going to right click here and then look for a texture sample. And there we go. And this texture sample, we are going to look for a noise texture. So I'm going to look here, noise and you might not see this you just need to come here to this um to this cog so click on it and then you're going to see this show engine content toggle this on and then we are going to be able to see all these textures here for this tutorial i'm going to choose this one good 6464 64, tiling noise high frequency so click on it and then we have it right here nice so now we can plug this guy here directly here into the emissive color and we are not going to see that much of a change and just a little bit of uh, black dots here and there but still it's static and we don't want it to be static like that so for that we are going to drive the uv over time and basically what we are going to do here is going to create a parameter here that's going to allow us to configure to tweak the flickering rate and for that we are going to drag this guy here and then we are going to look for multiply there we go and we are going to connect this guy here directly into the uvs and then we are going to wait a little bit and there we go we already see some flickering but still it's not very good the way it is because we cannot tweak it outside then we are going to create a parameter so we can tweak this value here so i'm going to 
right click in it and then promote to parameter and this is going to be the flickering rate there we go but it's still the way it is at the moment it's not very good because we are going to use some some pretty small values here sometimes and it's going to be kind of a problem if we have to add some small values like this so just to make things a little bit better and we have uh, some more resolution to here i'm going to divide this value here by 10 and that's basically it so let's drag it out and then divide and we are going to make this one 10 and connect it to the b in the multiply and there we go now we can keep this one here as one and then we see a flickering occurring just like this and okay this is already something that's quite good but we can add a little bit more to it we can make it um we can make something here to keep it um on a little bit longer so for that we are going to add here an add node so there we go and then connect it in here so let's wait a little bit and see what happens okay so the way we have it right now we can see that it is a lot brighter than before that's basically because we are adding one to it and that's basically what we want to do but we want to control this here by a one minus and so just press one there in the search and then we're going to have this one minus here and let's promote this one here to a parameter and this is going to be the flickering additive additive so this here is basically going to um to make the light be on longer than it uh than it should so we can change this value here normally this one is going to be uh between zero and one and this one here you can go crazy with it and some numbers and some high numbers are not going to give a um a really different result but you're free to do that and then in this flickering additive if we put something like 0 0.3 here we are going to see that it changes the behavior quite quite nicely and becomes something interesting and here we can change the flickering rate to be let's see the default i think three is already a pretty nice result so that's basically it for this light function now that we created it we need to save of course and after saving it we close it and we are going to use it and to use it we are going to need to select the light and that we want to use this light function and let's search here for light whoops light light function and there we go we are going to have this like function here and this like function material that we can use but before we use this guy here let's create an instance of this master like function so right click on it create material instance and then i'm going to keep it like that so file like function instance save it and since i have it selected I can close this dash here and then click on this arrow and that's going to use the asset that is selected from, from the content browser. So click on it and then we already can see that this is flickering and it adds a pretty nice result to the, to the environment. So that's basically it and that's how you make your fire flicker over time and add some uh, nice ambient light to it so that's it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and like the video so i will see you in the next one bye